Do you want to know how to make a delicious beef stew? Well, I'm going to show you today and we're going to serve it over some mashed potatoes. And I'm telling you, it's delicious. I'm also going to show you how to flavor this up with some spices and a mirepoix. And if you don't know what a mirepoix is, don't worry, I'm going to show you a little bit later. And I'm going to be making this in the Instant Pot. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, no worries. Anybody can make this on the stove or in a crock pot. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What kind of shows do cows like best? Musicals. You remember the mirepoix I, I was talking about earlier in the video? Well, we're going to start with that. It is basically a French culinary technique where we take some carrots, celery, and onion, and we're going to saute it a little bit in some oil, and it's a flavor base for soups and stews, anything you want to taste delicious. So for our carrots, we're just going to peel them, and then I'm going to cut them up just a little bit, give them a rough chop so that it's easier for the food processor to process them. Then I'm going to chop up some celery pretty much the same way. Now don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Now I'm going to place this in a food processor and we're going to process this till it's quite small. Now you want this to look pretty fine like this. Then we'll dump this into our Instant Pot and work on the onions next. Now you might be wondering why I didn't just toss my onion right into that food processor, but the thing is, is I'm afraid that it's going to get too uh, watery. I don't want a bunch of onion juice in my dish, so that's why I like to hand chop it myself. I like to get this nice and fine, so I run my knife through it again even after I cut it up pretty small. So it should look something like this. Toss these in the Instant Pot along with some olive oil, say about a tablespoon or two. I'm going to hit the saute button and we're going to cook this for about seven minutes and you want to stir it frequently. This is probably going to be one of the easiest beef stews you make and I, I hope you guys will try it. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to try it. Now here's my couple of pounds of beef stew. These pieces were quite large, so what I like to do is cut these into quarters. That way you get a little bit more beef, you know, dispersed throughout your whole stew. Before I add the beef, I'm going to toss in a little bit of Cabernet wine here into the stew. You could leave it out if you don't want to use it and just use all chicken broth, but uh, this adds some nice flavor. Give that a quick stir. I'm going to add the beef now. We need to add some more liquid so that we're covering the beef so it cooks nicely. So I'm going to use some chicken stock here. I got this from Costco. And you're going to add about three to four cups, whatever it takes to just cover the meat. It's time to spice up our stew with some salt, smoked paprika for that smoky flavor, and a good dose of garlic powder. And then give it a nice little stir. Don't think we're done yet, because we got a few more spices to go. Next up is some ground mustard and some onion powder. I'm going to follow that up with a little bit of brown sugar. We're going to give that a little stir, and we've got a few more things to add. We're going to add a touch of celery salt, a little bit of chili powder for a little bit of heat, some cinnamon, and some black pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Time for one last stir, and then we're gonna put the lid on this, and we are gonna cook it. Now remember, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you, you can put this in a stock pot on the stove and cook it the same amount of time. It'll be wonderful. Once you get this sealed up, we're gonna cook this on slow cook, and it's gonna cook for four hours. All right, we have time for another joke. What happens when you try to talk to a cow? Everything just goes in one ear and out the udder. I like to serve my stew over some delicious, quick and easy uh, mashed potatoes. These are organic and I'm just gonna peel them right up. And then I'm gonna cut them into, say, thirds. And that way they'll cook up nice and quick. We'll place them in a pot and we'll cover them with water. I'll place these on the stove over high heat and I'll cover it with a lid and we'll cook those for about 10 minutes or until they're nice and tender. At this point, I'm gonna heat up some 
milk. I like to use a higher fat milk, 2% at least, and add some butter. And we'll heat this until the butter's melted so we can add it to the potatoes and mash them. Once the milk is hot and the butter is melted, or at least mostly, I'm gonna pour in not quite all of it because I wanna see if I need all of it, but I'll dump it in and mash it up. I can see here that uh, after mashing it up, I could use a little more milk, so I'm gonna pour the rest of that in and it'll be nice and creamy and delicious. And then we're gonna spice it up a little bit more. I'm adding salt and a little bit, well, maybe a medium amount of garlic powder. I like garlic mashed potatoes. And this is a quick and easy way to do it. Remember, potatoes need a fair amount of salt, so feel free to taste this and adjust the seasonings. All right, it's time to plate this goodness up. Here goes some beautiful mashed potatoes with that garlicky flavor topped off with that stew. Let me tell you, this is delicious. It's just savory, comforting. Make this for your family. They'll love the tender beef in this and all the flavors. You're going to love it. Tell me in the comments if you're going to try this. Now for dessert, you're going to want to try my special rice pudding recipe. It is so creamy and flavorful. You're going to love it. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button. All right. Leave me a comment. Love to hear from you and we'll see you next time. Take care.